Hello everybody and welcome to the recap video of our Stacia Expert series. So, I hope you enjoy. Hey, before the video actually starts, there's actually a world download for this uh, world in the description. So if you want to download it and, play and continue playing for yourself, you can do that by clicking the link down in the description or joining our Discord server and clicking the link in there for Minecraft downloads. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so the series is ending. And this is now the recap video of everything we've done since the very beginning. I'm trying to remember back, it's been a while since I've actually talked back to the very start of this series. But I guess we should probably start off by looking at our cave that we dug. Which has ended in a minute, but whatever. And uh, then we moved on to making our house. Now, I know there used to be a village here and we spawned somewhere over in here. I think it was actually over here we spawned. Uh, because we first found our first spawner over here. Uh, recently broke the chest, but it was right here. And we got ourselves out, I think, a decent armor or something like that. I can't remember what, what exactly what we got. But I think it gave us a bit of health boost. And we ended up having a spawner. And I think we tried to make a spawner in the wall right here just to get a bit of string, just to get started, which was pretty nice. So then from there, we wanted to work on probably setting up some simple ore doubling. So this smeltery is what kind of came in clutch at the, at the start. Now, there used to be you had to make like a crusher here, the basic crusher, and then it'll make the ores double. But it was just easier to actually make a seared smeltery. And that just allowed us to like pretty much make all of our ores and alloys and everything early on, even make like some of the gears and plates, which is really handy at the start. Then we worked on to making ourselves our first set of steel, which was our coke oven and our blast furnace. And this used to be in the basement of a house, but since we expanded out into these separate buildings, we've now got a building for each mod, more or less. So we got the immersive building, we've got ourselves our thermal series building and a bit of woot. And we've also got our mechanism building, which is currently at the moment, Processing all our ores, creating all our alloys, and fueling our... What is this actually fueling? I think this thing is actually fueling our reactors over in the other place. This excess sulfuric acid. But we need to work on storage, because at that point, we were running out of storage, like, a lot. So that's where the colossal chest came into play. Um, but that ended up giving us a lot of issues, so we were had to remove it, and then upgrade to ourselves a refined storage system which now currently has 417 million plus another 63.4 million items in total, which is quite a lot of items, to be honest. And because this thing has creative storage disk, we don't have to worry about storing anything. But we needed power to run this thing. And of course, the first early game, sta uh, early game starting power we made was setting up an oil pump to start mining oil, put it into this um, distillation tower, Turn it into fuel and then use it inside of a diesel generator. So we were able to set up power and this thing produced quite a bit of power at the time. But it's fairly loud unless you're wearing ear defenders. And there isn't no, or there is a muffler in here. Oh, well, I probably could have used that ages ago. Anyway, so then from there, we were trying to work on wheel like water power, but that just got instantly outclassed by the diesel generators. But it still looks cool. So I kept it there. But that just kind of fits into the area and kind of looks nice with the water coming down. Because this used to be natural water. We just redirected the flow into here to run over tree. Is it tree? Yeah, tree water wheels from immersive engineering. But then we need to start working on gathering some mob drops. So we started working on some mob farms. So we got ourselves a blaze spawner. We got just every mob spawning. And we got wither skeletons and zombies at the moment. And zombies were really important at the, right now. Because we need that to start generating all of the life essence to run our blood magic. And in here we just have a spawner with sheep at the moment. But we're using this for whatever mob we want at the time that we need. So after that we had, since we had our blaze farm going. We were able to start Botania. And start setting up mana generating automated. Using endo flames and blaze powder with this simple dropper system. So a pressure play will activate a redstone link. Which will then stop this hopper from exporting out. And when the blaze rod is consumed, it will then just drop another one and repeat that process until it is completely full. And at the moment, how much blade rods do we have? 8 million. So we don't have to worry about that. But once we have Botania finished, we need to work on a blood magic. 
because a lot of the stuff to get started required blood magic. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember most of the recipes, but yeah, blood magic was an essential part that we needed. So we managed to get ourselves a five tier five altar. We've got this automated system here, killing uh, villagers, which produced like 2,000 blood a second. Uh, which is pretty good for filling this thing up and making ourselves all the demonic slates and stuff that we need. That's right, the demonic slates were needed for creating ourselves all the dielectric paste for starting power. So after we done blood magic, we actually went to the end, defeated the ender dragon and flew around the um, or f made our way towards end cities because we needed some sort of flight. Freighted flight and jetpacks were just out of the question at the time. They were just way too difficult for what we needed. So we managed to get to some end cities, get ourselves in a light trap and be able to fly around, which was such a good thing for a while and be able to access all of the things that we needed and travel around a lot because we do need to travel far for some things. But then after a while, it was time to start farming. So I think actually a few of these may be stopped at the moment because it just got, for some reason, just the mine cart just got destroyed, but whatever. So we managed to set up this farm here, which is producing us wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, a bit of inferium, uh, and a variety of crops, hemp and sugarcane. We tried bamboo, but it didn't work. So we just left it all with sugarcane. And then we managed to get into mystical agriculture. Damn, the lag here is unreal. So we've got nearly one of every seed. I don't think I have any of the mob seeds, but we don't need any of the mob seeds since we can just make whatever farm we want. And since we have woot, uh, it kind of just generates uh, mob pa um, drops passively. So we can set up whatever mob we have want, because right now we have the wither, a dragon, and I think a skeleton and a zombie or something like that in it. But then we also need to make some sludge, because sludge was going to be needed something to work on making elven quartz, which I think it was elven quartz. There was some sort of quartz that we needed to actually make a refined storage system. So we needed to make a farm here that when chopped down will make sludge, which was very needed. And because of how much long this is going and how much wood I have growing here, we were making like tons of logs, like we have 1.9 million dark oak logs, which at the moment are being collected by our void miners from um, environmental craft. So we can see we have like a ton of wood that we have, like all varieties of wood, which is nice. Since we don't have access to like stripped magic logs from biomes aplenty. So after the farming was done, it was time to get into astral sorcery. We need to start making some steel machine frames so we can actually start getting into our mechanism because mechanism was the thing that we really needed for like triple ore processing and setting up uh ore mining with a digital miner since at the time we were i was hated running down to the mines mining stuff and we were really struggling to keep up with our resources so this thing was pretty good and we were able to make tons of stacks of steel casing which was great and with that steel casing we were able to set up ore tripling which now has been upgraded to ore quintupling, since we are now five times in all of our ores. So how that works is we start off with sulfur, which gets pu pumped into here, which turns into sulfur dioxide. That gets pumped out into here, mixed with some oxygen, which comes from an electrolytic separator, makes our sulfur trioxide, which then gets pumped out into this guy, mixes with water vapor to make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is pumped out as a gas, and we have it in this uh, thing, which I mentioned earlier, that goes over to our uh, re reactor so we can power that. And then this gets pumped over. It dilutes down the ores. At the moment, we are pretty much out of ores. And since I have racks on it, it is going super fast. So this gets melted down, then cleaned, and then put in here, crystallizes, comes back over to here, gets broken down again, and then just goes through this whole process of getting cleaned and then smelted. So one ore produces five ingots which is crazy so after all that then we needed to get into a little bit of nature's aura um so we have this set up over here now so we got our altar offering table we've got our nature infuser and our rich tree rituals altar uh so this was great for making the eyes which we needed uh for making ourselves the everlasting guilty pool which is pretty good because i still have one set up over here and it is doing very well creating our other stuff that needed to be crafted in Side of an alchemy and a pool which is great but then a lot of the major crafts were needed by create or to be crafted by create so that's where we started to learn how xnet worked to automate mechanical crafters from create 
So this thing here makes the cable for refined storage and applied and logistics. This guy makes all the variable cards so that I can actually turn the uh, whatever the cable is into extra parts. I think it also makes our casing from refined storage. Can't remember exactly what this one makes. Does it say at the back here if I remember? Quartz iron, invert plate. Okay, this is the quartz um, or the machine frame from refined storage. And this guy back here is making... I actually can't really exactly remember. But we come down here, it actually will tell us. So in here, you can see this makes ourselves a cable and the, what's it called? The logic cable from integrated dynamics. And then we got here the fusion reactor frame. Then we got our two cable. Over here, we've got our casing. In here, we've got our different machines because they had to be crafted in mechanical crafter. And then over here, we've got our turbine casing, which needed to be crafted in also a refined or a create auto crafter or mechanical crafter and all the essence that our farms are producing are getting pumped into here to be crafted and then sent into the system as full ingots which are great so once we had all the create stuff set up we actually got into a bit of environmental tech so we were able to set up our memory programmer to program our miners we we're able to set up the assembler and we have this all automated now as well using xnet and since the mod updated is now got frequency modifiers to increase the speed of this machine it goes quite quick and because of that now, we were able to make ourselves a lot of tier 8 miners. And this guy here, like I said, was mining wood. You can see if I hold shift right here, you can see the different things. Actually, no, this is the botany one. Uh, it is producing wood as well, but it produces like all the different kind of like flowers, grass, leaves, logs, everything. And I believe this guy up here, what are you exactly? You are a ore miner. So you're mining all the different type of ores. From every mod as well. You just saw there was a bit of redstone and emerald there. Just after going into the system. So after that we were able to go now. And set up our reactors. Because we needed to start making polonium. Which was a big thing for creative essence. So right now I'm actually going to turn this off. Because it's not actually needed any anymore. Um, so this thing is here. Assessing system. So we got the sulfur acid going in. Which gets con concentrated into a gas again. Which then breaks down this fluoride. To make hydrofluoric acid which again popped into here and mixes then with i think over here uh what are we out of how are we out of uranium well that could have been probably something i could have added to my creative vending but yeah apparently we're out of uranium now um which is kind of disappointing and i think it's all actually being pumped into here you know what it's actually turning into singularities I should probably stop that turning into singularities right now. Uh, might do that in a second. But anyway, so reactor that makes polonium, and then the po excess polonium was turning into antimatter, which we got set up with our creative chemical tank. So that's infinite antimatter. And then over here, we have our fusion reactor. This guy is producing, currently on its own, is producing like, I think like five or six mil. It's not outputting anymore because our induction matrix is currently full. And you see how much water I had to hook up to actually keep this thing cooled and produce enough steam to actually run this. When the system is fully pumping out power, it produces upwards of 15 million FE a tick, which is more than probably anything I have uses, except for this guy, which can use like 150 million. But then it was time to start looking at different dimensions. So over here, we were able to craft ourselves custom dimensions made out of whatever resources. And since then we learned how to do that, we were able to make ourselves a steel, like an actual steel casing from mechanism dimension. So the whole world is made of steel casing. And then we don't know for ancient debris. And right now we have diamond and emerald dim set up at the moment, which we've mined out a ton of area from. Uh, which side is it over? Here it is. So you can see we dug out a gigantic hole out of the diamond area just to fill up our entire system with diamond. So it's, we've got quite a bit of diamond. If we just have a look here, you can see we have 69.4 million diamonds and 110 million emeralds. So we've got quite a bit of those resources considering we had nothing left at one point. So after that, it was time to set up our newly set of armor. So the premium armor was our best choice. And uh, the other was the, if we go to uh, mini utilities, it was setting up this infused armor. Like this is 16, 
This right now only does 10, but it pluses 20 hearts. So this thing gives us more health and I can add augments onto it like speed, night vision and all stuff like that. So it was probably the better option. And it's got better tools then as well. So we got sharpness X on this. So it gives us attack damage of 50, which is 20 attack damage. So we can only one shot every mob. We've got capturing, looting, We've got vorpal. So we can take out mobs really quick, especially like the Gaia spirit. I can take him out in less than a minute. And this thing, pickaxe, fortune, tree, and efficiency, five. Pretty good. And we added most of these enchants on using the enchantment factory. And we also ended up getting ourselves the mana enchanter to apply multiples of the enchants onto the armor without having to worry about using XP. And I was kind of hoping we could have increased the actual health and the, or not the health, the protection level. Like it says here, five. Mat default is four. But for some reason, I think it's been patched that you can't go any higher than just the default. So... That was kind of a rip when I made that and we found that out. But then it was time to start looking into making ourselves some creative items. So we need to actually find a better way of making black iron, which was setting up a crafting core from extended crafting. And here we automate black iron and create a cosmic anime dinner and an endless ender pearls. So this thing automates it all. It can only go into one pedestal at a time, which is great. So it automates it and it's quite quick then as well. And because of that, we were able to then set up all of these over here. So we got like crystalline, our creative essence, we got singularities, ingots, our pearls, and our other pearl. And then we have all our actual creative items in here, which we have now all created, which is great. And then we got all our singularities being crafted over here. And at the moment, let's take out the uranium because I don't want it crafting any more uranium. I'm wasting it all. But we needed to upgrade our power system, which is this monstrosity. So this is how we were making all our uwu terium before. Uh, I needed a super fast system, and this is like the max things I like can really fit in this area. So yeah, this was producing uwu terium at a relatively quick rate, but it was still quite slow, but I couldn't go any faster than it was, so it's whatever. But then there was one last ingot that we needed to produce, which was the cyanide from our extreme reactor, which is being still running over here, quite frankly. And if we have a look in here, a cyanite, I think we have actually a couple of million of it. So cyanite, do we? Uh, almost a million of it. Because now we have a seed planted for Because all we needed was four from this to craft a seed to be able to like make the entire thing. So yeah, and here's our induction matrix, which is storing all of our powers. You can see we're outputting nearly two million and we're only inputting in about two to three million because that's all we need. So it's an equal like in and out at the moment. But if we ever needed to extract out more, we have the, the headroom to do it since this thing can actually technically pull out 15 mil at a time. That's great. But then we actually went to a new dimension, which is brand new to us, which is the Alfheim dimension. We had to do some special work and rituals with the Gaia spirit and some runes to be able to even go to this dimension. But now that we have it done, and I actually haven't been here a while, so you can see all the mobs are starting to fall now since they're rendering in, which is quite funny. But yeah, you can see we dug out this whole area of living rock. And we need to find one item in this place, which was called the Cursed Ring of Adwari. I think I'm still wearing it right now, am I? Ring of Odin, Ring of Adwari. So this actually gives us the ability to duplicate gold when it breaks. So for instance, if I just have... Actually, I don't have a band of mana on me at the moment, so I can't actually do that. But if I had some mana on me, we could just, in theory, um, just infinitely duplicate gold, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it then. So we kind of went over everything then. Because uh, the last things we ended up doing was making ourselves our energy condenser, which we then con consumed in making the creative vending, which is set up now here, making our black iron and our uuterium piles, which I regret setting this up because I didn't realize I couldn't take this out. But I think you have to be creative to be able to take this out, and I'm not going to do that. Um, But if I wanted to, I probably could make more. Like, I have probably all the Ubuterium, and now I have all of the black iron I need to make it, so it probably wouldn't be too difficult to do that. So, that's pretty much it. The entirety of Stasia. So, that's everything we've covered uh, and done since the very beginning. So, there'll be a new series starting Sky Bees now next uh, episode. So, the next episode after this will be Sky Bees. And, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this series, and I hope to see you all in the next one. So, without further ado... Goodbye.